Well, hello and welcome to the first day of Pace Setters video. I'm so excited that you're calling in. And today we're going to train on some of the most important aspects of our business. And that is your vision, your goals, image and attitude, affirmation, and some basic things about booking. So I have a lot planned and we're going to try to do this video really quickly so that you're not watching this too long. I know you've got a lot of stuff to do. Um, but first of all, vision. Let's talk about that. That is where you see yourself in your business. Where do you see your business taking you? What is it that you want it to have in store for your life? Where is it going to take your family? Do you want to be debt free? Do you want to be able to quit your job or stay home with babies or just, you know, pay off bills or have some extra money to go on that vacation you've always wanted? That is your vision for your business. And it can be something different than those things I've just named. But your vision is like your dreams for your life. It's where you're going. And it's where you're going in your personal life and in your business. It's where you see yourself in your future. And so identifying your vision is really, really important and really key to being able to move forward and achieve your vision. And so if you haven't already, like jot down some things that you want to have happen in your life and in your future, because that is really, really important and is really going to help you move forward. And then your goals are things in your Mary Kay business that are going to help you get to your vision. So let's say, for example, your goal is to be debt free or to go on a vacation. And for that vacation, you need to have $2,000 or you want to pay off $3,000 in bills or a variety of other things. But let's just say, for example, you need $2,000 in the next two months or three months, however long it is. So you want to have a deadline for your goal and you want to have a specific thing you want to achieve. And so if it's you want to make $2,000, then you need to sell $4,000. And so what we do is we break that goal into bite-sized pieces. So you want to profit $2,000. Well, you can sell $4,000, but you could also sell $3,000 or $3,500 and get a couple new team members, and then you can make some extra money from commissions. And then you're working smarter in your business, which is really great. So you, you want to have your goal, your big goal, and you want to have a deadline with it. And let's say it's for the quarter. And then you want to break that down into bite-sized pieces. So for the next three months, then what is that per month? And then what is that per week? And then what is that per day? So um, if you want to sell $1,000, $3,000 over the next quarter, that would be, or profit $3,000, that would be profiting $1,000 a month. So what do you need to do to profit $1,000 a month? Well, you could sell $1,800 and get a new team member or two new team members a month, and then you'd be good. Um, or you could, well, actually, that would probably be the best way to do it. Um, and you can have a specific plan for how much Christmas sales or how much on the go sales you want to do as well. So that is a little bit about your goals. And you want your vision and your goals to your family to be involved too. So it's a family goal or something y'all really want to do together. You want to let them be involved and contribute to that goal as well, which is really important. And one of the most absolute important things that you can have in your business that is probably more important than the skills is your attitude. Attitude is everything. Mary Kay Ash said you can do everything wrong with the right attitude and have great success. Staying positive helps you in every area of your life. And you know what? You are going to leak something. You're either going to leak positive or you're going to leak negative. You cannot leak neutral. But when you are leaking positive, people want to know why you're so excited and they want to be in your space. And when you're leaking negative or leaking stress, nobody wants any part of that. We all have enough stress in our lives. And so they want to avoid you. And you don't want them to associate you or your Mary Kay business with being negative. Because then you won't have, they won't have anything to do with you. And that is no good. So we definitely want to make sure we're being positive. And so some things we can do to help us stay positive are listing things that we're thankful for every day and saying a daily affirmation. We'll talk about that in a second. And visualize yourself in your vision and achieving your goals. And I don't mean like watching yourself in a video. I mean like if you're sitting down, like you could see, well, you could probably see your hands and your legs. And like if I look down, I can see my legs and I can see my hands. But I can't see like my back and I can't, does that make sense? So you want to see your, like you're inside yourself looking out. What it's going to be like to live in that vision and to live and to achieve your goal. What it's going to feel like to have that happen. And when you have that, oh my goodness, it's going to be so great. You're going to let yourself feel the emotion you're going to feel when that happens. And that is going to be just absolutely incredible. And such an amazing, powerful thing for you um, as you're moving forward in your business. So let yourself see yourself in your vision and in your goals and say your daily affirmation. 
And an affirmation is just something that you say every day to help you feel positive. And so it could be something simple like, you know, I am a, women love booking parties with me. I am rich women's lives every day through Mary Kay. I work my life, I live my life every day with passion and courage. And I have harmony in my life, keeping my priorities, God, family, career. I mean, it can be anything, but it's basically a series of statements that you want to be true about yourself. And they are all in the present tense. That's very important. It's not, I will be successful. It's, I am. And they all have to be very clearly defined. So it can't be, I'm successful, because you have to define that. So maybe it's, I am always a star consultant. Or... I am a star team builder in Mary Kay, or I always sell $1,000 every week. Something like that, so where there's, it's measurable, because if it's measurable, then you know if you can get it. And speaking of, your goal should be measurable as well. So it can't just be, I want to be successful. I, you know, I want to make $500 this week, something like that. So something you can measure it so you know, um, so you know when you get it. So that is a little bit about attitude and affirmation. In your affirmation, you should say, every single day, multiple times a day. Absolutely awesome. Um, and say it in the mirror and smile and get really perked up and just say it. And then, when you, then you'll really start believing it and tell yourself until you believe it. So that is really, really, really powerful. And then in terms of image, image is really important. And uh, um, hear this from my heart. I'm not saying that every anybody has a problem with image, but just take an honest look at yourself when I'm, when I'm saying this. So you know how when you get dressed up to go on a date, you get up and you wear the perfect dress and you get your makeup perfect and you get your hair all fixed up and you feel so confident. You feel like a million bucks. And getting dressed up and getting fixed up gives us confidence that we look good. Have you ever gone out wearing pajamas with your hair not fixed? Or maybe somebody knocked on the door and you didn't take a shower yet and you're in your pajamas and your hair is all messed up and you haven't washed your face. You're not really feeling that confident, right? So we are in the beauty business. We get one chance to make a first impression. And so dress like the position you want to have. Dress like a sales director. Dress like a national sales director. How would you dress if you made six figures a year? How would you dress if you made $50,000 a year? You, want to make, you need to become that person before you will achieve the position. And it starts by looking the part. And so put your Mary Kay face on, get your hair done. If you haven't had a new haircut in a while, get an updated look. If no one's complimented your hair or your makeup, freshen it up. Start, make, make it new. Do something different to it to make it look snazzy and be on trend with it. It's okay. It's okay to just to snazz it up and so that it'll help improve our confidence. It's not saying that your, your value is not in what you look like, but it does help you feel more confident and more powerful. And when you are dressed really sharp, you are going to have the confidence to talk to anybody. And they're going to want to know who you are and what you're doing. But if you are wearing cut-off jeans and a tank top and you see a really sharp woman in a business suit, you might not feel really confident in talking to her. But if you're dressed like a million bucks, you're going to absolutely have that confidence. And so it is so important to do that. Okay. Um, the last thing I want two more things I want to go over, and this is going to be a really quick training video is business card, how to hand out your business card. So we're out and about, we go to the post office and the grocery store and we're at work and we're around people all the time. And we have business cards and there's adult women that we're around so we need to be able to hand out our card in a confident manner. And so if you're already in a conversation with her, say you're talking about, it doesn't matter, whatever you're talking about, you're talking about the groceries or you're talking about work or you're at the post office, a really simple thing to do is just to tell her, you know, would you be offended if I gave you my card? I'm in a contest with Mary Kay to give my card to the 10 sharpest women I know. And I would love to give you one. Would you rather one with a gift certificate or without? And she'll probably say, oh, well, sure, a gift certificate. Or one with a sample or without. And that is so very great. Um, so have your business cards always ready. And if you don't have a sample attached to them, attach, um, I even tell them if I don't have it ready, which have it ready, but if you don't, I just tell them, oh, when you bring that to a facial, it's a gift certificate, which is really great. Have you ever had a facial before? And they say, well, no. I say, great, well, you know, let me get your information and I'll give you a call and we can set up a time um, to spend your gift certificate or I'd love to get your opinion of that sample. So it's really simple. If you're already talking to her, you just tell her that you're in that contest to give out your, her card, which you rather run with or without a gift certificate. And then let me get your information so I can follow up with you. And while you're doing that, 
just remember you're just you're giving her your number it is perfectly normal for her to give you her number you're not gonna like you're not gonna marry her you're just gonna offer her a facial and so if you're relaxed about it she's relaxed about it and have your business card and pens always available and then a basic booking script is really just to tell people oh my goodness you know I'm in a challenge to treat 30 women to facials in the next 30 days is there any reason why we couldn't get together I'd love to borrow you for that and they'll probably say well sure and they'll say well can I offer you a couple dates to see if they work for your calendar and they'll probably say well yeah that's fine well you know what I have a last minute special that if you book, if we do something next week you actually get an extra gift certificate so I have Tuesday and Wednesday or Saturday available does one of those work and they'll either say yes or no if they say no I say okay great well, I also can you next week on Tuesday or Wednesday or next Friday. Would one of those be better for you? And just keep offering until she picks one. And then she'll pick and say, great, thank you so much. I'm so looking forward to it. Could you ask a few girlfriends to come along um, so that I can get to my 30 facials faster? I'll actually have a gift certificate for you if you can since you'll be helping me with my goal. And she'll probably say, well, sure, that'd be no problem. So then you um, just, you know, ask her oh great you know you get the most free product if you have about five girlfriends there so just ask more than that because you know everybody has such crazy schedules and i will send you an email with some details on how you get product for free basically um you get some just for having girlfriends over and then if they purchase items and book follow-ups you get more stuff oh awesome that sounds great wonderful why don't i call it follow up with you tomorrow and get an idea of how that's going and i can even send out some email invitations for you would that be okay oh sure excellent great and you would I mean, did you want to do that at your place or mine? Oh, we'll do it at my place. Excellent. Okay, so you've just booked her, and you can even book her last minute. My favorite thing to do is just, you know, I have this last minute special that if we can do something next week, you get a gift certificate. And if she can't, it's fine because you want to book her anyway. But just tell her you're working on, tell her what your goal is. So those scripts that I mentioned, those are going to be posted below this video. So feel free to check, to click on those. And watching this video is your first part of your homework for pace setters. So congratulations for finishing it. And there, there is going to be a daily challenge. So you are going to want to um, make sure you're doing your daily challenges and connecting with your sales director. And I do want to sincerely congratulate you for taking the time out of your day to take part in our pace setters program. This has actually been designed by Pat Fortenberry. She's absolutely incredible. And she learned it from Mary Kay Ash herself as a plan to really help women move forward in their businesses. And it's so great. Whenever you can plug into any kind of training and any kind of anything from your sales director, you definitely want to make sure you do that. So thank you so much for listening tonight or today or whenever you're watching it um, and have an awesome evening.